Y'all, oh my gosh, y'all wouldn't believe what I just did. <clears throat> well, first, let me introduce the vlog. Um, happy Friday. <laughs> happy Friday. I'm Siobhan, pronounced like the material. If you're new here, and if you're not new here, welcome back, girl, and welcome to another weekend vlog. Y'all, so this morning, well, y'all know how one of my goals were to, I don't know if I shared this with y'all. I think I did, but one of the goals was for me to find a new dentist this year because the other dentist practice I was going to, um, I didn't really care for it too much. Um, and it didn't feel like personalized. It just felt like, I don't, I don't know. I just didn't feel good going there. So I wanted to switch. And y'all, if y'all ever go to a clinician or something and y'all be like, y'all leave there and y'all don't feel good, try to go to another one or find another one. But let me put that down. Okay, so y'all, my arm is tired holding this. But I had a dental appointment this morning, and in my mind, I thought it was at 8 30 at a.m. I'm sitting there about to be on time, like on time. And so the lady called me and she's like, um, or I hope you're okay. And, um, cause it is like snowing outside. I don't know if the roads are icy or not. Um, she said, I hope you're okay. And so I called back and I'm like, yeah, girl, I'm right around the corner. She's like, oh, well, you know, it's 830 now. We're unable to, we, we really need a, a, like at least almost an hour. And I was like, my appointment was at eight. So I'm a little sad about that, but also I feel really, really bad because they kind of squoze me in, if that's a word, because I had my initial appointment this past week and I just for like establishing care. Then my second appointment was going to be a cleaning and um, the next one wasn't available until March. And but when I was there, someone literally canceled their appointment. So I was able to get in like right then and there. And I just feel so, so, so horrible. I feel like that was irresponsible of me. And the crazy thing is this whole time in my mind, it said, I was thinking 8.30. It literally says 8 a.m. on my calendar. I honestly don't know where I got that 8.30 from. I don't know, but I feel horrible. <sighs> Like, I, I don't like missing appointments. I don't like missing appointments and I don't like being late for appointments. Um, because, you know, I appreciate the healthcare professionals, you know, services that they will want render. <laughs> but I really appreciate them because they're really, really nice. And I already know, like in a dental world, it's really hard to get an appointment. So I just feel really bad. Anywho, that's enough chattering about that. I'm back home and I'm about to start working. Hey y'all, so I just got done with work. I'm getting ready to go to the post office and then to get my hair done. So I am taking these shoes to the post office. Um, the shoes that I sold on Poshmark. So I do have the Poshmark. I don't have like a lot of items on there, but I put some pretty good items on there that's in good condition and that I haven't really wore, I've worn maybe like once or twice. So um, the, um, I sold these already, these are gone. Um, for, these are the Naked Wolf, Wolf Heels. And so here's one of them. It's super cute. Like the back of the shoe has that, do y'all see that wolf on there? Then on the side is the wolf. Then they have straps that wrap up the ankle. So I actually like these shoes a lot, a lot, and they're so cute. The only thing is that this little strap here, when I put the shoes on and my foot, like when I start walking, it starts applying pressure to my baby toe. And if you wore heels like this that had that strap there that applies pressure to your baby toe, you know what I'm talking about. And before the pandemic, I used to be able to like grin and bear that pain. But after the pandemic, well, I guess we're still in the pandemic, but you know, after this transition that we are in, <laughs> in the world, I can't 
I can't wear shoes like that anymore. Like it just hurts too bad. So I'm putting put I'm I put them on Poshmark. They sold. We're gonna go to the post office. And a good thing about Poshmark, they do give you a label. Of course, the cost of the label is taken out of your sale. Like whatever that person is paying me, some of that fund is going to the shipping label. And all I have to do is bring the label with me on my phone with the code and they scan the code at the at USPS. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I got the bag there. So I'm I still have it in the um dust bag dust bag and I'll put it in a box and then in my thank you card. Thanks for shopping with me. I'm also considering um putting this on Poshmark Poshmark. I may um because like what else would I would do with it? So this is the Reformation skirt. I love this skirt so much. It's the mini skirt that has a split in it. So I wore this skirt maybe twice. If I find a photo, I'm gonna post it. It is really, really cute. The only thing is since I've started to like work out more, my bottom, like my butt is getting boosted up. So that means that the skirt look shorter and shorter on me. And then having that split, I'm even more exposed. So it's like, at this point, it's, I don't feel as much as comfortable wearing this skirt. So it's so cute. I barely wore it. It's a little wrinkled, y'all. But I'm thinking about putting that on Poshmark. And then this dress that I have, this is from the brand Stein Goya. I think that's what it's called. And it's this super cute dress. I literally probably wore this one time. So it's this outer layer and then it has a, a lining inside, which is, this feels really, really good and soft. The reason why I don't wear this is because this specific material, material rubs under my arms and it's thin and I sweat. So I don't know, even, not just this dress, but any other dress or shirt that has this thin type of material, it rubs under my arms and it makes me sweat. And it's very apparent when I sweat in this dress, like it'll be a wet stain. And because that happened when I wore it, um, I guess a little self-conscious about it. So I don't want to wear this dress, even though I think it is so, so cute. You know, it's so cute. It really is cute. I don't know, maybe like if I wear it, I could put a t-shirt under it, but the dress is kind of see-through a little bit. So that's why they have the lining, but there's just no lining for the arms. Mm -hmm. Cause y'all, this really is my style for real. You know? That, I think th this always happened when I think about this dress. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to sell it and I'm going to keep it because I love it so much. But I literally haven't wore this in over a year. And I'm getting rid of things that I wore for over, I haven't worn in over a year. So I'm going to just put this on my bed so I can make sure when I come back home, I put it on uh, Poshmark. But anyway, let me show y'all my outfit of the day. I'm just getting my hair done and going to the po post office and i just wanted to look somewhat cute cute so i just put eyebrow and some mascara on i put this headband on from brooklyn land because my hair's not done i just have two little ponytails in because i just i took my braids out this morning i detangled them so something that'll just do for my transition uh, my top i have on is just a flowy top from zara just a linen top. I have my favorite Erin leggings on from Amazon. These boots from Intentionally Blank. Cute. And then I'm just going to bring my Rebecca Minkoff bag. This bag is so cute. So I'm going to do that. And then my scent for today, I'm actually going to try this out. So last weekend, I bought this Nest scent, the Madagascar Vanilla. That's what the container looks like. And so this is actually a perfume oil. They didn't even have a spray. And then even in Nest, I couldn't find in Sephora 
a candle that was Madagascar vanilla. Like if they have a candle that's this scent, I would buy it. But this is just the oil. So when I was talking to the lady in the store, she said that uh, she had a friend who had sensitive skin and they put this on their skin and they didn't have a reaction to it. So if y'all know, I have dry sensitive eczema prone skin. So yeah, that's on that. There is a little um, alcohol in here. So we'll see how drying it is. But it just smells so delicious. It smells so good. So I'm going to try it. Um, I have my hydrocortisone with me. So let me bring that. And then um, I have Benadryl. So just in case I have a reaction. So I'm going to put it on my... I'm going to just... Mm, I'm scared. Because I want to put it on my neck, but then I, if I have a reaction, I want it to be somewhere no one will see. Okay, so let me do, I'm going to do my arm right here since I have a long sleeve. Like, do, do I rub it in or? Okay, y'all, this smells so good. And that absorbed like, oh my gosh, that absorbed so fast. So you can't even tell where I put it at. Like it doesn't really give you, it's not like an oil oil, like, you know, baby oil or anything like that. It doesn't really hydrate your skin like that type of oil. It's literally really a perfume. And I'm going to put, no, I'm not gonna do it here because tomorrow I may wear a shirt where this section shows and I don't, you know, I don't wanna have a rash. Mm -hmm. So maybe I'll just put it I'll put it. I need to put it somewhere up here because I want to smell it. So I'll put it down here. Mm -hmm. It smells good. All right, y'all. Fingers crossed. So my coat, because it is literally snowing, snowing. It's supposed to be negative three degrees so I got a real winter coat on when I was younger I used to wear I used to not want to wear a long coat when my mom would buy me a long coat I'll be like what what is what is this but now I love long coats so this is a black one I had no idea where I got this from I got this for like really a really good discount because I bought it in the summer because I knew I would need it for the winter. Sorry, y'all. Just Google like long puffer coat with the high neck. I honestly Google descriptions of clothing and that's how I find clothes, like specific clothing that I like. Just a tip, y'all. You just need to know how to describe things and something will pop up. Let me know, the, are y'all doing that? And what do y'all be searching specifically? I wanna know. So here's my outfit. Chill. But yeah, one thing I do Google a lot when I'm trying to find something are A-line black mini skirts. And those are the skirts like that one from Express, that'll something like that will pop up like that type of A shape and then it has a clean cut at the bottom or uh, flared mini skirts, like that type of thing. I Google, lately I've been Googling um, tube heeled pointed toe boots because I want to find some tube heel pointed toe boots specifically in the color tan that are not a thousand and something dollars because the YSL boots keep popping up and they look so, so cute, but those are not in our budget. But yeah, y'all, this is it. I'm also gonna take some stuff um, from Zora to the UPS, so yeah, let's go. Okay, y'all, change of plans. Um, I'm at my hair salon now, waiting outside because I'm about to go in. It is freaking 
freezing. I know I told y'all I was supposed to be negative three degrees, but when I got outside, that negative three degrees hit me. I was trying to go to the UPS, but I ended up going, well, trying to go to a different one that apparently isn't there, or at least I couldn't find it and I didn't have like enough time or the energy to find it because my hands were freezing. I didn't have, I didn't have any gloves on because I actually gave my gloves away to a young lady who was um, taking my order at Chick-fil-A a while ago. She was so cold. Like she was shivering and she, I said, oh my gosh. And she's like, I'm so cold. I said, do you want my gloves? And she said, yeah, and she took them. So I don't have any gloves. My freaking eyebrows were freezing. I thought that was so strange because why are my eyebrows? So yeah, I didn't take anything to the mailing office and today's Friday. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to take them tomorrow. I gotta figure out what time they open. So yeah, because I'm supposed to be going somewhere tomorrow for a day trip but the way this weather is looking y'all it's a snowstorm outside like what i was not expecting this like salon it is snowing like crazy outside but anywho I just got a wash and trim because I'm going to put my U part way on and I think it looks great so I've been in the process of growing my hair back out I feel like it's at the length that it was before but let me tell y'all when I first moved here I had a really bad eczema flare up where it caused my hair to break off because if you don't have a healthy scalp your hair is not going to thrive. So I had a really bad eczema flare up coming here due to the allergies and my hair broke off. So I started wearing my U part way again. And this is the result of doing that. So it grew out basically back to the length it was prior to me wearing my U part wigs again, because I had been wearing my natural hair during, I think residency, maybe my second year because I was, I loved it, but then it broke off, so I wore my U-part wig again, and now it grew back, but yeah, y'all see that? Hold on, let me, you know, you gotta make sure it's real straight so y'all can see how long it is. Like y'all, do y'all see? I think y'all can see. Yeah, but like, I'm so proud that I was able to have it grow back. Um, so I am gonna put my U part wig back on again because it is the winter months and girl. I don't want my scalp to be drying out and then my scalp be bad and then my eczema flare up. So yeah, I'm gonna just put my U part wig back on. But I don't know. The reason, so I'm putting my U part wig back on because I'm about to go on this trip, this little day trip. But honestly, like, I don't know. I kind of want to wear my hair now. Ah. But yeah, it looks so healthy. Um, I didn't have her like press my edges too crazy because I have to use it, like, I have to grip it with my fingers. So I didn't want it like too straight. And she didn't put no edge control because I didn't want none of that. I just wanted it to be healthy, you know? So, yeah, my ends are looking nice and full. Oh, yeah. Looks good. Girl, you see these bundles? These are bundles, okay? <laughs> really, I have arrived. <laughs> Y'all, huh? So I came to Philly, I'm here with some friends, just for a quick day trip. So we're just spending one day here. So basically 24 hours. So I just got to my hotel. Of course I found this cute mirror. It's actually dirty right there. Um, that needs cleaned off. So I'll wipe it off. But anywho, I am staying at the um, Marriott Downtown Philadelphia 
walking into this place looks so beautiful um so yeah it's on some sites it'll be like marriott downtown or marriott center city but yeah i always like marriott well not always but most of the time so let's do a room tour so this is the door and then you come in and this is what you see so this is the bathroom so this is just like the regular king um bed room so the bathroom looks really good mirror is beautiful let me see what the lights is looking like oh, okay that's a little delay <laughs> so cute oh hey um this is the shower wow i haven't stayed in the bathroom with the door that actually opens and closes in a while and there's a little crack at the top so I can see why they don't really use doors like that anymore. But this is the shower, nice and clean. Uh, those are the things that they have in this bathroom. Never heard of that brand, but it'll do. I always bring my dove soap with me anyway. So this is the room. It looks so cute and clean, like this. Is good enough for me. TV. Just a regular room, y'all. I think my most favorite hotels I've stayed in so far was the JW Marriott Hotel in DC. And of course, the Archer Hotel that I stayed at when I went to uh, my last trip to like Maryland. All right, so I am on the 15th floor. Let's see what the view is looking like. It's looking like offices. <laughs> so, um, it's not much of a view, but I can see the people down here. I guess that's what happens when you're in a big city. Like, you'll be up high, but the only thing you'll see is another building. So, the room is nice, y'all. Uh, I'm exhausted. So... We left like at eight in the morning, even though it's like one now, we, it still feels like it's eight in the morning. We are going to go get a Philly cheesesteak and get some recommendations on where to go. So yeah, I'm just sitting down for a, sec a second and getting myself together. Y'all wouldn't believe what just happened to me. Like I went to go wash my hands and this whole thing came apart. I'm calling the front desk. So y'all yeah, also had like some type of stain that was on my cover, like this top type of sheet, which is just for aesthetic reasons. So the housekeeper did come and she replaced it cause she was literally next door. So thank you to that lovely lady. Um, and then the sink thing was able to be putting back on it now. It it's fine. I don't know why I found it and it was halfway off. I don't know why someone left it like that, but okay. Uh, at least it's documented <laughs> that I found it like that. And then I found this coffee thing because I was thinking about getting some coffee. And let me show y'all because I can't really turn it around while I'm already filming. But this is the coffee situation. I feel like this is a regular coffee thing like i don't really know how to use it i only know how to use like curex i never made like coffee out of a regular coffee thing so i gotta figure out how to use it and then i'll have some coffee So it's Saturday evening. We're getting ready to go to dinner. I'm doing my makeup. So a little bit earlier, we went to like a wine cellar and it was so cute. Um, the lady there made me like a wine flight and she asked me, like it was basically, 
I can choose three that I like or she can put together three by me telling her what I liked. And I just told her what I liked and she picked the options. She did a great job. It was really fun. We just sat there and chill. We ate some snacks. Which were so cute. She had edible glitter on there. I think I'm about to bet edible. I'm about to buy some edible glitter just to put on my food because it looks so cute. So yeah. And y'all, let me tell you. So I um we had went to like the dining area of the hotel and the one of the persons that worked there was like make sure you don't leave your belongings unattended because people if someone steals your belongings the hotel's not responsible something like that and i was like okay like i thought that was so strange that he said that and then when i sat with my friends he said i'm just going and then he came over to me and my friends and said i'm just going to reiterate this to y'all and i was like yeah i understand not to leave your stuff unattended but my, literally my purse was right next to me and then he was like even if it's in your chair right next to you somebody can come up to you and be chatting to you and walk off with it and you won't even know and I was like okay like I didn't even know it's like that I'm like well should I be eating with my purse literally in my lap <laughs> because my bag was like right next to me um and he was like, yeah, they can even take it like that. And I was like, oh, okay, is that how Philly gets down? So I literally sat there with my purse in my lap while I was eating. It was very uncomfortable. But that's what the guy said at the hotel. So that's how I ate. Um, if y'all from Philly, let me know. Because I'm staying at the hotel, the Marriott downtown. Like, is it like that downtown? Is that strictly in downtown? Is that everywhere in Philly? I didn't know I had to eat with my bag in my life. And he was dead serious, y'all. Like, he said me, he told me that once. And then he came over to me and my friends. And, you know, he was a very nice person. He said it nicely, you know, not in a rude way or anything like that. I guess he was just trying to warn us, y'all, to be careful out here. Hey, y'all. So, I'm all dressed up and ready to go. So, I wanted to put my scent on really quick. So, I did want to give y'all, I guess, a verdict. This Ness Vanilla did not break me out. I wore it yesterday and I wore it today earlier. Just to check in, no reaction. So I'm going to pair this Ness Vanilla Madagascar with the Valentino. Because this has a little hint of vanilla in it too. So I'm going to put the vanilla here, put some of it here, and then here, and here. All right. So that's good enough with that. And then I'm going to spray this. Mmm. I sprayed that literally on my hand. Okay. So let me show y'all what I'm wearing. So I have this top on. I don't even know where I got this top from. I had this top for years. It might, I think I got this from H&M. Yep. That says H and L, so it's it is a bodysuit, but I'm not wearing it as a bodysuit. Like I clipped them to the bottom together and just stuffed it up in my shirt, and I'm not wearing it as a full bodysuit because it'll show the lines and the pants I have on, and I don't really want that to show. Um, and then hopefully y'all can see. Can y'all see the what I care? So I have on the stirrup leggings from Calcedonia and then, oops, I gotta fix this. I think I'm gonna get a safety pin to pin it up so it doesn't fall out. And then the shoes I have on, these are from Amazon. They're super cute. I linked them on my Amazon storefront. I feel like there's a marching band.
Y'all, it's a lot going on. So the convention center is like next door to here. And then there's a car show somewhere. It's a lot going on downtown. Um, I put on like tape, wardrobe tape. So this is the tape I use, Hollywood. So it doesn't, um, like my shirts don't move. So yeah, this is what I'm wearing. I'm pairing it with my Stodd moon bag. So cute. And what I did, because y'all know the moon bag doesn't have like a zipper. It just has a magnetic clip. I took one of my dust bags for my shoes and put all of my stuff in there and then I'm gonna tie it tight so no one can put their hand in there because that thing got me like very cautious right now okay and then I'm gonna wear this blazer from Frankie shop this is gonna look cute and i have stockings on underneath the stirrup leggings because they provide shape smoothness and warmth because it's cold okay so this is the blazer from frankie shop it is so cute i really love this shape that it gives um so i'm gonna button it i got it in a size medium large y'all this this jacket always sells out but if you sign up for the alerts trust me like it'll come back in stock you just have to wait for it so yeah this is the look i'm going to try to um do like a hopefully i'll get a good picture so you can see everything chaos okay, don't care but yeah this is the look and i fold up the uh, sleeves just to give some dimension to the jacket I smell like really good. My hair is just straight, y'all. Like I put my wig on and I left like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of my edges because I just wanted to look as natural as possible. So I took a lot of my edges out and it's just went really straight. But yeah, let's have a good time. Happy Monday. Um, I'm, I left clinic. Y'all, I look so tired. But I left clinic. I am at the grocery store because I need to get groceries. And sorry, y'all, the lighting ain't that great. Um, I don't know what to do. But I'm really going to the grocery store. I wanted to go right away so I didn't get too tired. And I just knew I wouldn't do it tomorrow so i'm going to go now but philly was so fun like that day trip was so so fun we ate at two restaurants this one restaurant it was spelled f-i-g-o i think it's called figo 10 out of 10 girl or let me see 9 out of 10 i can't give a restaurant 10 yet um but it was so good it was italian restaurant and it was restaurant week so we had appetizer salad um main dish and a dessert all for forty dollars forty dollars y'all it was so good and then on sunday i didn't take any pictures of it but we went to this restaurant called winnie's like w-i-n-n-i-e and we got brunch i ordered it was called like the chicken and waffle benny it was very filling but very very good I highly recommend i would say that's a nine out of ten too so yeah all the food we had and Philly was good. Um, the re the restaurant, the hotel restaurant food was like okay, but you know it's all it's hotel food. It's okay. But y'all, I got a major headache. Um, I was talking on the phone really lo really loud so someone could hear me, and I just now I got a headache. Let's go.